This video covers managing your personal user account on Milo. It's really important that everybody who uses Milo has their own personal account that's mapped to them as an individual and to their personal email address. There are a number of reasons for this. One of the reasons is that this is a security element. It allows you, for example, to recover your password if you forgot it. You can click on Forgot Password and then put in your email address and tell the system that you're not a robot, and then it will send you a password recovery link. It also ensures that the history of your activity on the system is tracked. So any edits that you made to content, anytime you logged in or logged out of the site, all of that information is tracked so that if, for example, you were somehow hacked or you somehow introduced a virus through your computer into the system via a file, that information is tracked to your specific account, which means that it's a lot easier to recover after that happens. And it's not only easier for us to recover your league website or Milo as a whole, but it also becomes a lot easier for you to recover on your end and to make sure that that record is very clear. We also make sure that revisions are stored on all of the content. If I click on any specific piece of content, I can actually take a look at, well, actually I'm not logged in right now, so I don't see this, but if I were logged in as a league webmaster, I would be able to see tabs up here that allowed me to see the history of the activity on that piece of content. And all of that information is tied to the specific user account. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not logged in right now. So if I want to log in, I have two options. The first is I can add my username and password here, or if I end up trying to go to a piece of content that requires that I be a member, I'll actually be confronted with this page first, and I'll have to log in to tell the system who I am before it lets me move on to that password protected material. I can also register for a new account right here if I am not a user on the system. The nice thing about being able to do this is if you are trying to join a league, you can go ahead and register your account on Milo, and then you can give your username to your league so that they can add you as a member to that specific league once you've established your membership. Now in this case, I am using a plain member account. I'm not a member of any specific league. I just have an account on the system. And I'm going to go ahead and log in as that person so that you can see how I can then go ahead and make changes to my user account. So I have an account, Rain Demo User, and I have a password. And I'm going to put that in. Again, if I forgot my password, I just click on this, I put in my email address, and then it will email me a password reset link. And then I'll click login. These are my password management tools. I'm going to ignore them. Now I have successfully logged in as Rain Demo user. Things don't really look that different to me because I'm not a member of a specific league. But what I do have up here at the top right are my account and log out. And right here under my account, I can, I have no information in here right now. When I registered this account, I didn't put in anything. So nothing is showing. And I want to make sure that there is information about me on my profile page. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And now I can start adding information. First, I'll put in my password so that it knows that it's me. I can change my password here if I want. I can go ahead and find a picture. I'll upload that. I'll put in some alt text. Add my name. Put in some very basic information about myself. This is not meant to be formatted. It's just meant to be nice, plain text. If I happen to be a staff member of a specific league or on a board of a specific league, I can go ahead and add that here. 
Maybe I'll say that I'm a board member of Demo Loco, Local. And then I can add my address if I want to. Oh, California is the state. And then I can add a phone number. All of this information is only going to be visible to members, but you obviously only want to put here what you do want visible to members. I'm not a robot, so I'm going to tell the system that. And then save. So this is where I can go ahead and change my password. This is where I can change my email address and where I can put new profile information about myself. Now, if I click on view, it'll show me that information that I've entered. Notice that it does not display my contact information because that information should not be visible to anyone who doesn't have privileges to see it. And once I'm done, then I can go ahead and click log out. And now I'm logged out of the system.